Hello friends, it is so good to see you again this week. I'm Vicar Zach from Bethel Lutheran Church. I'm so glad that you've joined. I've been thinking a lot about our time together, even though it's been a short time since the start of September, a lot's been going on. But I was in the sanctuary today and I was looking around in our worship space and I noticed a lot of green. You can see the green right here on the banner that says the tree of life. You see this green uh, altar, a very nice altar piece um, that has the cross and everything. You see green up on this curtain. You see green up in the stained glass. Green seems to be all over the place in the church. And it got me thinking, what what is green? And I started thinking about what does it mean? And then I started thinking about growth. So I have a question for you all. How do you grow? Or what makes things grow? So of course I start thinking about plants and I start thinking about the sun and the water and the soil and the nutrients that help plants grow. I start thinking about um, water and food for us as we grow and we get older. I start thinking about school and the ways we're able to grow our brain and grow our knowledge. And then I also think about what's starting up this Sunday, which is Sunday school, and how that grows our knowledge of God. And then I was thinking about Sunday school, and then I thought, well, worship. When we come together on Sunday mornings at 1030, that's a time to grow. And that's really when I was looking up what green means as a color for the church. It's a time of growth. It's a time of hope because Pentecost, this time that we're in, this green season comes right after Easter. So we start growing into the promises that Easter brings. You know, Easter is when Jesus raises from the dead. When God raises Jesus from the dead, where the tomb is empty, there is no one in the tomb because they thought Jesus died, but he did and then he rose. And it shared with us a community that nothing can separate us from the love of God, not even death. That God is victorious over death, that God is victorious over every bad thing that could be thrown our way. So growth, how do we grow? And we grow by praying, and we grow by studying, and we grow by going to Sunday school, and we grow by coming to church, and we grow by talking to other people, and we grow by loving our neighbors. I said at the beginning um, last week that I want to go through that back to school liturgy that we kind of went, uh, that we did about two weeks ago. And we talked about the difficulties that school brings, especially this weird school season where we're over Zoom, where we're at home and it's not, we're not at our normal desk, we're not able to be in person, we're not able to see our friends all the time or eat lunch with them. And it talked about how we hope and we grow in difficulties. That we learn from mistakes, we learn from times that we feel ungrowable, when we feel that we can't do anything more, we start to recognize what we do and how we can overcome those feelings. And in our liturgy, in the words that we said, we, we said we can overcome all these things in Christ. We can overcome all these things in Jesus, the one who was raised from the dead, the one who came into the world to share with us how much God loves us. And then we hear this weird word, grace. Grace means this this gift. It's an undeserved gift. And we talk about this gift, this grace being a forgiveness of this un, um, 
we call it unmerited, but maybe a better word would be undeserving or free or abundant as a way to talk about that word grace and how we lean into God's grace of forgiveness because God has forgiven us on the cross and now we are able to forgive because God forgave us. So as we think about growth and as we see green all over our worship space, we're reminded that in baptism, when water was poured over our heads as little babies most likely, or when we were older or even as an adult, that we were joined into God's family, that God's promises of forgiveness and life were given to us. We didn't do anything to deserve it, but God just freely gives it for us, which is so amazing because it reminds us that no matter what, we are loved and that we are enough in Christ Jesus. So as we grow and we overcome the difficulties and we hang on actually to the good things too and we enjoy those, I think we can sing a little song. And I think you might know this, so I hope you join in with me. It talks about a little light and how it shines and how that light can grow, how that light can become brighter, but also how the light can actually become darker. And if it does, it's okay, because that doesn't mean you don't have faith, but it means that we're learning. That means we've entered a time where we can lean on God and we can lean on other people to grow, to hold on to the hope that we have in God. So friends, join me in seeing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Jesus gave it to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Friends, we grow when we let it shine. Let us pray. God of growth, God of grace, God of the green grass. We thank you for the promises and the hope we have in Jesus. And we thank you for the opportunities to grow, not only through the good things, but also in the difficult things, that we can grow in love to serve you and to serve our neighbors even more. That as we grow in our height or in our weight, we grow in love for you and we grow our knowledge and we just give you thanks this day for giving us a light to shine, to grow that light so others may see it and come to know that you are amazing and that you love us. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, I hope to see you at 9.30 on Sunday for Youth Sunday School and then for worship at 10.30. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week and a great start to the weekend. Always remember that God loves you, and so does your community here at Bethel Lutheran Church.